Okay, so we're back in the world of Skyrim, warming our hands apparently, because this is where we left off, you know. Um, let's go and Riverwood. pick up Feindel. You know, Feindel. Maybe we should just get going. A lot more things to do. What not enough money. Time to be alive. Still need a bunch of Market. money, so I don't know These what days will be long what we could gone. do. Not really sure. Hey, 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 no pushing. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to some more Skyrim. Um, I'm really stuck right now. I. Anyway, White Run is beautiful as ever. Um, Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't seem to be able to figure out any quests to do at the Bellator moment at the what I do know is that I need to head up to the castle and hand and collect my reward for killing the bandit leader yeah that can work that will be at least a little you know advancement towards my goal let's go um, I'm supposed to talk to the steward I believe uh, uh, I cannot remember his name Aventus no Aventus is no Proventus, that's his name. What is it? I actually I like to think that I'm good with names, that I can remember them. Huh. Fine. Yeah, uh, I'm playing Morrowind now, and uh, I watched like a beginner's tutorial online or and something. Not to spoil anything, but just I wanted to know just how the game works because it's a hell out of a different than Skyrim. It is somewhat similar to Oblivion, but still much harder in my opinion. So. I got in the habit of jumping around just to increase, you know, my acrobatics, and that feature was removed in this one. So in Morrowind, I would just like jump up these steps as far as fast as I could what do you need, my to increase the acrobatics and agility and things. So yeah, I kind of got in the uh, in the spirit of things. Now, where is Proventus Avenici? Map? Oh, there he is. Wow, I did not see you. I serve Jarl Balgra as steward. The band leader of everyone's retreat is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Appreciate it. Is there any more work to be done? Not with you. Okay. Enjoy now what are we meant to do now? Hey kid. The only grown-ups who talk to me Ugh. are the kind I don't Jump. want talking to me. Well, I guess the time has come for us to accept that we're gonna have to go to High Hrothgar. Yes. But first we're gonna check out this skeleton's ass. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Funny. <laughs> Feindel, I hope you are ready. Actually, I think I have I'm some right arrows for you from the last time. <laughs> what do you want me to carry? Do I? Yes, I indeed do a shitload of arrows, if I might add. I'm still torn on this cloak. You lead, I'll follow. Should I wear it? Should I not? I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. Time to head out, I guess, to High Hrothgar, to face Be my destiny, here in the city in to become the hero. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? There were several Khajiit camps. The dragonborn of the legend. I like the sound of that, I must be honest. Okay, let me just check something out. I am now very, if I may say so myself, very good on the money part. So I think me and Feindel can afford some horses. I mean, I get tired walking around in my full plate armor, you know. So yeah, horses it is. I guess Feindel could use a horse as well. I mean, he must be damn tired running along oh, behind me, you know. There ain't no use worrying about the things you can't change. Uh, yeah, speaking of my Morrowind playthrough, I just got to that city called uh, Baltimore, I believe. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I, I am enjoying that ga game very much indeed. Really enjoying it. 
And I just, you know, I was playing, 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 like, for a couple hours, and then I just said, hey, I should just, you know, make my video, and then I'm gonna come back to playing while it's rendering, uh, uploading, and things. Uh, I wish to buy a horse. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Thousand, okay. Thousand's fair. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. I would like to buy a horn as well. Of course. Nordic or Imperial? Well, I'm not Imperial, so I'm gonna, gonna go with Nordic. Thank you. Here. Thank this you. This is for you. Ride strong. Okay, so um, what that just gave me, for someone who doesn't know what convenient horses are, uh, that gave me a Nordic horse caller's horn. And I'm not gonna be using that, but I am gonna be using... Power cord, a horse call. So that allows me to call my horse, whatever it is. So, yeah, here's my horse. And then I go... Like this. Oh, I do not want I have to mount it first. Because that uh, significance that it's mine. Yeah, that's also convenient horses. Feindel summons his horse now as well. Although he is not supposed to get on that one. He's supposed to get on the other one. And my convenient horse is it just being updated. Okay. Come on, Feindel. like Skyrim. Uh, this crisp air is wonderful for the lungs. It should work now. Yeah. So I just disappear for a second and my horse, you know, appears beneath me. So that that's really cool. Uh, and you guys are gonna give me just a couple of moments so I can set some things up. Okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. You wouldn't believe this, but it's already been so almost two hours time, since I paused my the recording, the I and now I'm finally back. Able to finally continue with no further interruptions, I hope. Anyway, what I wanted to do, and the reason I originally cut the video, was um, I wanted to give our horses some armor. So this is Fe uh, Feindel's horse, he's got a leather armor. There were several yeah, Khajiit those are its the balls of in a sack. Just kidding. Seems they've been um, the whole yeah, Skyland pretty nice looking. Wings. And my horse has a Nordic armor. He also has a balls in a sack. So yeah, uh, in principle, that that's all I wanted to do. Um, yeah. So let's mount those babies up. And Feindal, you should probably mount yours. Yeah. There you go. Looks actually kind of nice. So. We're gonna be heading up to High Hrothgar. Finally. I know, I can't even believe it's been two hours. I actually had to run some errands again. Yeah, mounted combat's awesome. And it looks really cool with a two hander. Whoa. I don't like to brag, but I once took down a bear at 300 yards. Okay. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go over a Riverwood and then through Helgen and then a right to Iverstead. Which is where I've been told High Frothcar, yes, I mean the beginning to 7,000 steps is. So yeah, fun times. This armor does look actually kinda nice, I must say. Forged it myself. <laughs> I see why the Nords like Skyrim. It's Chris oh, okay, Fandor, are you gonna bugs. shut up anytime soon? Is he bugged? Oh my. We're being attacked. We're being attacked and I'm mounted. Get off that horse. What the hell is this? Assassin? What the hell do you want? Okay, you're getting, you're going down, man. A dark Elf Assassin, why was he? Oh, this is a Dark Brotherhood Assassin, isn't it? Yes, it is. I did not recognize it, and I'm, I'm going to explain why. And this arrow... Just nice. Um, the reason I did not um, recognize him is because he has... Um, he doesn't have the usual Dark Brotherhood armor, he has... I cannot remember what this armor's this armor was called. Why is he? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I cannot remember how this, why, what this armor was called. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm gonna try it. It's called, I think, Rise of the Brotherhood. Oh, I almost stole his horse. Oh my god. Where's my horse? There you are. It's called, I think, Rise of the Brotherhood armor. I'm actually 100% sure. You can look it up. By the way, if I forgot to mention it before, you can find. Uh, the full uh, list of every mod I'm using in this let's play down in the description so if you're interested about anything you can check it out there you can also find the, the mod for this armor it's also craftable so you can craft it yourself or you can get it fully enchanted uh, when you join the Dark Brotherhood anyway it, it looks really great it's been uh, inspired by the Assassin's Creed series sorry about that if you could hear some humming I'm just adjusting my headphones okay Riverwood fun times in here should we stop and say hello I don't know who we would, we would say hello to meantime that's good we'll just, we'll just continue forward there are gonna be other plenty times Plenty of time to catch up. Hello, guards. I there see the guards have finally arrived. Outside the walls of White Since we were the Jarl. They've been traveling around the whole of Skyland, peddling their wares. Yeah, I'm just trying next to the river. I heard no big deal. Kendall, are you coming, mate? <sighs> yes, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful world. Okay, so approaching Helgen. Probably should be careful in case that the dragon has made a nest somewhere around here. Whatever they call their resting places. Yeah, I don't think my axe is gonna help me anytime soon but quick saving might so yeah fun times um, probably should be getting off my horse about now well that can be a good sign that I wasn't here when I first came through if it's my fate to be ended by a okay there we go A big hammer bandit oh yeah that's what I'm talking about okay resist frost Ooh, nice. lock pick nothing else can twist oh is there are there more of them of course there are more of them come at me Are you f a mage? I hate mages. Die! Ooh, I actually. Well, actually, I guess Fangdal did some damage beforehand. It wasn't entirely me. Anyway. Semantics, I guess. I cannot get through there, although I know there are some bandits. I can hear them. We should probably clear this place out. We don't want any of these guys, you know, building up their guts to attack Riverwood. We have many great friends there. Can I access it through here? Can you? I guess not. So I'm on my own. Is that what you're trying to say? Where are they? Jerks. Just quick saving. Come at me. I can take. Oh no, I cannot take all of you. No, 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 no. No. 
It'll be so much easier to rob no archers. But can you come through here? Come at me. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I guess this is my last stand. Okay, I, I'm, I, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, this is a bit of a cheap way to do this, isn't it? Nope. Lock picture. I took care of that one. Only one more to go. Let me just pick up his lock pick. Okay, two more to go, apparently. Might just need some healing eventually. Just come here. Meet my ex. I call her Jessie. JK. Uh, I'm not. Okay, there's one more, and I'm very low on health, so we're gonna have to do this tactically. Charge! <laughs> yeah, that's the best tactic I've got. Oh, is that one up, up the tower there? Can I access her? Yes, I can. Okay, so this is episode number six clearing Halyon, I guess. Probably not gonna be naming it that, but. Okay, there we go. I love you, lightly armored fools. Thinking you can stand up to my axe. Betsy. Colorful. JK. Uh, I'm gonna. Arrows roll, lockpick. Okay. Well, that should take care of this place. I guess I should be. Okay, I've gotta, you know I've gotta do this. Oh man, I made it the first time, but I guess I wasn't wearing full plate armor. So yeah, logic. Um, now where was I going again? And more importantly, where is Feindal? Oh, Feindal. And where's my horse? God damn it. Oh, there he is. Well, I've got a remedy for my horse anyway but first I'm a little bit hungry a little bit thirsty probably should take care of that ale bread there we go well it's lets me call my horse for a second yeah you blow that horn like you mean it okay whoa 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 easy there boys I know you've just been warped into the universe but no need to overdo it you know Anyway, probably should quick save. Smart people always quick save where, where there are no auto saves around. Oh, I just flipped my mouse. Sorry about that. Oh boy, a military camp, is it? Maybe we should drop in on the guys and, you know, say thank you. I don't know how many people actually come here just to thank them. Thank you, if sir. If you know any true son, fight or die well. How do you feel about the war? I guess that's an obvious question, but why not? Skyrim is the birthplace of humanity, the birthplace of honor. And those snow-backed Imperials renounced both when they laid down before the Thalmor. Yeah. Worse still, to pay for the privilege to keep his throne, the Emperor sells Skyrim and our very gods, Talos no less, to the damn elves. And what did Torik do? He and the Owls that supported him, they took the Emperor's gold, sold out their people for a slave master's peace treat. Ulfric did right killing him. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody Justicars, and the Jarls in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. And we'll cleave through the legion to get to them. Uh, yeah, interesting thing. The king's name is Thorig and this guy's name is Thorig. So I, I guess it's possible for two to have a same name. I mean, yeah. But how do you earn a nickname Sun Killer? That's what I like to know. Because I want one. Ulfric's not running a social club. You don't join anything. Either you're a true son of Skyrim or you're not. If you are, then you make your way to Windhelm and talk to the man himself. If you're not, well, friend, you'd best walk away before this gets ugly. Oh, why are you called Stormcloaks? At first they called us that to belittle our cause, but we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak, the 
only true High King of Skyrim. We are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim and Ulfric. He is the truest of us all. We fight to make our land great once more, to raise up strong, noble thanes and lay low false yards and the cowards who hide behind them. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. Um, yeah, I appreciate the cause and everything, and I understand your guys why you're angry, but um... oh my god, what just happened? Um, but I think that Ulfric guy is sort of filling your head with crap, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think that I okay, I'm I'm on the right, right track. I think that Alfred guy is, I mean, I like the guy, I mean, he's the first one to actually raise an axe against the false empire and things, but he's sort of, he's sort of been filling your heads with bullshit, hasn't he? Well, no, no one's perfect, I, I, I still appreciate the cause and I'm still probably going to support him anyway. If I am able to, of course. Well, what do we have here? Where are you headed? I mean, someone might attack you. There, there's wolves, there's bears. I've seen them. There are dragons about, traveler. Be warned. Oh, yeah, I know that better than anyone, my friend. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, livestock. Uh, you're sort of sliding. We barely have enough gold to get by. Well, I can spare some gold. Thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. I'm always help. glad to help citizens of Skyrim. I don't know if they were Nords, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, wolves about. Wolves are about. I I've seen it run by. Oh, there we go. You, can't beat me. you tell him, Feindel. Wow, why did everything turn yellow? Never mind. I guess we just came out of the icy place and are now in the slightly less icy they say fall Colleen sort of Morthal place. Right. Vampires, and we are very close magic. to Iverstead, I wager. Iverstead, Iverstead, there, there's many names for this place. I think this village might be the one of the places that is mostly unknown of how it's actually called because even the NPCs the voice actors call them everyone calls it differently some say Iverstead some say some say Iverstead some say Iverstead I personally have always called it Iverstead I don't know how about you Oh, come on! Is there a world pack around? Because I'd like to meet you and just be done with it. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. You appreciate my assistance? I took down the damn thing. Okay, where now? Where to now? Okay. Mm, slightly north it is. That must be it, Feindel. Looks like the place. Oh, I like jumping with my horse. I'm still in that whole jumping around mood from Morrowind. Iverstead discovered. Probably should head to the inn, get some rest. It's dark. And we're definitely not ready to go up the mountain at the time. Let's go, Feindel. Vilmir Inn. Welcome to the Why did that 
What the hell was that about? You don't look like a Hello? pilgrim. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Why is that? There ain't much more to tell. There ain't much more to tell. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Ghosts? Seriously? I mean, I I've seen zombie-like Draugr, but ghosts? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I could help you out if you want. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Can you tell me something about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. Well, they had to come in we from get somewhere. We the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. I mean, they couldn't have been born up there. Has anyone ever explored a barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow. You've seen that shrine of Azuros? They say the dark elves. We never saw him again. Well, that's kind of spooky. Can I rethink the whole I took the job thing? We don't get many. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay, let's I'll go show get you some. To your room. Right this way. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Okay, 12 full hours it is. Actually, I'm gonna go for 10 hours. More like 10 hours. There aren't really any merchants around that I should be talking to or anything. And no. Let me know. So the barrow, you say? Okay, uh, I'll put that in my need. journal. List of things to do. Let me know. If you're can you refill water by any chance? Yes, you can. Of course. Okay. If you're headed up Fendel, to the monastery, you're good. Yes. Watch your step. Hello. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Why do you play? I play the loot. Okay, uh, if you'd like you to hear me, something, it only costs five gold. Merely five gold? I'd easily pay twice that to hear you play. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Yeah. My may and charms work every time. And I leveled up. Hell yeah. Let's go for some stamina this time. Why not? And, um,. I kind of wanted to, to level up my smitting a bit, but I think I should probably go for Barbarian. I can't take this one in a while, and Barbarian seems nice. Uh, what about my heavy armor? That Those are the things I'm currently focusing on. I can also take this one. <laughs> you know, I also wondered about uh, perks like these. It says 25% armor bonus. If you're wearing all heavy armor, head, chest, hands, feet. Uh, now, I guess that if you wear some a piece of light armor, that's not gonna work. But what if you don't wear any? Like, I'm wearing a chest, hands, and feet, but I'm not wearing head. Do I get a bonus or not? I guess not. Yeah, I'd like to get some smithing done, you know, increase this. I'd really like to take some, you know, dwarven. Well, not really dwarven. I'd like to go for orcish, definitely. Then ebony. I like to, to do to do to do, to do uh, sorry to do that. Also, some enchanting might come in handy, but as for now, I think I'm gonna stick with this. Definitely, I can take another one next time. Oh my god, I'm never gonna fill that one up, am I? Never mind. Never mind. Let's get out of here. I'm tired. Oh, early in the morning. Get an early start. That's what I always say. You don't look like a pilgrim. Well, I'm gonna start saying it every day from now on. Happy? Jumpity jump. Jumping mood. <laughs> okay, where was that barrel? Is that the barrel he was talking about? I gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little bit spooked about that one. Not really sure. You know? Shroud Heart Barrel. Pendel? 
Uh, if you're still as scared as me, I know how you're feeling, but I think we're gonna have to help these people out, and um, we might get, you know, a teensy wincy reward out of it. So, there ain't no use worrying about the things you can't change. You can't go wrong with change. that, can you? 